Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. 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 Hey guys, it's Max, Chief Evangelist over here at Happily. We're working through this event, Happily Beta, and I just wanna show you how easy it is to build an event, uh, get a page set up for someone to sign up for that event, and then actually see if they attended a physical in-person event all on HubSpot, but see how fast I can do it and set this up for you. So um, right now I'm inside HubSpot. Obviously we're on our events page here. I'm gonna go ahead and create an event. Let's call this Max's awesome birthday party. Description, Max is turning 36. Dot, dot, dot. Let's go ahead and give it a start date. Let's say it's gonna be on the 27th. We'll give it a start time. We'll say it's gonna end on the 27th. We'll give it an end time here. Wonderful. It's gonna be a one day event. This is only a single session event. We're not gonna do multiple things. It's just a birthday party. Just some people hanging out at Chuck E. Cheese. It's no big deal. It's fine. We're gonna go put the event address in. Uh, one, two, three, uh, Chuck E. Lane. And then we're gonna go to city. We'll go Beverly, Massachusetts. One, two, three, four, five in the United States of America. Wonderful, let's go ahead and create our event. So we have our event built. Now, here's the deal. On my website, I have a little calendar that lists all the events that I do. Um, now that I've created my event, right, we need to create a session here for this event so it shows up. Now, I have a little workflow running in the background that just automatically creates a session when it's a single session. So a little hack that I threw in there. Um, however, usually events have multiple sessions, so you would just come in at this point, add the different sessions that you have. But the whole point is once you do that, they will show up on a calendar on your website. My, mine's a little messy here, ignore it. The whole point is that you go and build that session. You have this uh, session here that someone can now go to from your calendar on your website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click get tickets. I'm gonna come to this dynamically generated uh, session page here and I can actually sign up for this session. So I'm gonna put my information in, wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and hit submit. Now, I have registered for the event at this point, so I should be able to go back into HubSpot and see if someone registered for my event. So let's give us a little refresh. Awesome, we can see that Max is now registered for this event, right? So if I go to this session, I should also be able to see Yep, there's the registrant right there, right? So we have a registrant object created for this specific session. Now, what if I want to actually be able to see if they attended this event? Well, if this was a birthday party on a Zoom webinar, Zoom's automatically going to tell me, and this will say attended. However, we're going to a Chuck E. Cheese's, right? We're going to be there. We need someone to be able to sign people in at that event and not have to deal with a stupid uh, import contact situation to figure out who actually came to this event. So let me just show you how, how easy we made it. So I'm going to go to website pages here at HubSpot CMS. I am going to use this in-person check-in page that I've created here. And you can create as many of these as you need. But the cool thing is, is we have this module that we've built that will let you choose sessions. So I'm going to search for Max, Max's awesome birthday party, right? So now this check-in module is gonna be checking people in for this session, right? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a subtitle, check into Max's birthday, right? You can give it a title, pizza, right? And then you can choose which fields people can search and which results they'll actually see from the registrants that are actually going to this event, right? So I'm gonna apply the changes here, wonderful. Now. I need to go ahead and just update this page or probably create it in the first place, send somebody the URL. I'd recommend password protecting these pages just so the only people coming in and actually doing these event registrations can actually reach these pages, right? So password protect them, right? So now um, if I go and I send this link to myself, so let's actually go to this page here. I'm gonna copy this link. I'm gonna send it to myself. And at this point, I'm gonna start recording on my phone so I can show you guys what I'm seeing on the phone here. Now, put yourself into the shoes of somebody at this event, checking people in to let the marketers know that someone actually came to this event. So let's go find my Slack here. I'm gonna go find this URL. All right, cool. So I'm on this page. 
as you can see, here's the check-in page. I'm gonna go ahead and search for someone by like their email address. So let's do max at happily.com. I can search by first name, I can search by last name. If you had like badge numbers on your registered object, you could search by badge number and I've found a guest just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check-in button. I'm gonna say yes, please check them in. Boom, we can see that they're actually checked in on here. So now I go back into HubSpot. I should be able to go to my event. Take a look at this individual session and see that the registrant actually attended the session. So guys, that's a quick run through of Event Happily, which is our event management app that we've built on HubSpot. It's currently in beta now, and we're looking for beta testers to reach out to myself or Dax Miller if you're interested in joining the beta. Um, just to give you a quick recap of what's possible now with Event Happily inside of HubSpot, not only can you manage your event planning process, you can do all of your pre-marketing, uh, drive your registrations and signups directly through HubSpot in a very scalable way. You're able to do your pre-event comms, your in-flight event comms. You're able to track attendance, whether it's virtual or in-person events. And on top of that, you can even do deal attribution to those event objects if you want to be able to start calculating the ROI on your events based on closed one deals that your sales team is bringing in when folks meet them through these events, right? So there's a lot of different things you're going to be able to do on HubSpot now because of Event Happily. If you have any questions on different use cases or you want to tell us about a certain flow or a certain process you have around building events and have us show you what what's possible inside of Event Happily. Feel free to leave a question in the comments. You can even book a demo with myself or Dax. Just shoot us a DM and uh, we're here. We're gonna be pumping out a lot more content around this thing. And we're really excited to show you what's possible when you manage your events end to end on HubSpot. And you know it was built happily.